Hello boys and girls. This week's story is called The Magic School Bus Gets Caught in a Web. Mrs. Frizzle is a good teacher, but she is a little funny. She wears funny dresses and funny shoes. Even our class trips are funny. We always take our funny bus. It's not just funny. It's magic. Today, we are learning about spiders. Miss Frizzle tells us that spiders are not insects. A Spider Family Tree by Phoebe. Spiders have, million, have been around for millions of years. They lived before dinosaurs. Spiders are not insects. They are more like these animals, scorpion, Daddy long legs, tick. Aren't spiders just insects with eight legs? Oh no, they're in a class all their own. I want you to meet my friend Charlotte, Miss Frizz says. She knows a lot about spiders. We see a sparkle in Mrs. Frizz's eyes, in the Frizz eyes, I. Sorry. Who is Charlotte? I'm afraid to ask. How about a trip to learn about spiders? Our teacher asked. Before we say anything, Miss Frizzle grabs the bus keys. Let's take a spin. Can't we just walk? The Frizz drives us to an old house. The house looks dark and spooky. There are spider webs everywhere. Your friend lives here? Tim asks. The fr Miss Frizz has strange friends. I'm not surprised. The Wide World of Webs by Carlos. Different spiders make different webs. The webs can look different and they can work in different ways. All webs are used to catch food. Spiders spin their webs with silk. Silk is thin, but is strong. It can stretch more than the elastic in your underwear. We ring the bell, but no one answers. Charlotte should be here, Miss Frizz tells us. My book says some webs are strong enough to catch small birds and bats. What about small children? The front door is locked. We'll have to come another time, Miss Frizzle says. Back to the bus, class. For once, I'm happy to be getting on the bus. Suddenly, the bus starts to shrink. Then it grows wings. Now it is a bus moth. The bus moth flies off. What happened to going back to school? Maybe Charlotte is in the garden, Miss Frizzle says. The bus moth swoops around a web. We fly to the back of the house. Spiders eat moths, right? And the bus is a moth, right? Nothing about this seems right to me. I don't see Charlotte in the garden, says the frizz. But we see lots of spiders. There are spiders hanging in trees. There are spiders hiding by the house. There are spiders spinning webs in the grass. Where do spiders live? By Wanda. Spiders live anywhere. Some live in the dry desert. Some spin webs in trees. Others live in holes underground. You are never very far from a spider. That spider has a mean look in its eye. That spider has a mean look in eight eyes.
We see a big brown barn. It has a broken window. Our bus moth flies inside. What's looking here, class? Do we have to? We see a big white ball of silk. It, in, it is in a web. Baby spiders are coming out. Class, this is a spider egg case. I only like eggs in the dairy case. Carlos! Room to Grow by Carlos. A spider's skeleton is on the outside of its body, like a thin shell. These skeletons do not grow or stretch. When a spider gets bigger, it must shed its skeleton to make room. Spiders shed many times before they are all grown. There are webs hanging everywhere. And there's a spider in almost every one. But there's no sign of Charlotte. Spiders here with hairs by D.A. Spiders do not have ears. They hear with tiny hairs on their legs. Sounds make their hairs move. So spiders feel sounds on their legs. Let's get out of here. Shh, the spider might hear you. How? They don't have ears. Oops, sorry, I didn't show you that picture even closer. See all those spiders? We are afraid the spiders will chase us, but the frizz tells us that web spiders do not chase their food. They let their web chase their meals. We did not fly into a web, so we are safe. I'm still glad to be out of here and not to be stuck in there. Oh no, the bus moth flies into a web. The web's silk is sticky. We can't move, but that spider can. What is that? I think it was lunch and we're going to be dinner. The spider creeps along the web. It's getting closer. We are all too scared to watch, but Miss Frizzle and DA keep looking. The spider knows where the web is sticky and it walks where it isn't. That's totally cool. This is totally scary. Drink your dinner by DA. When an insect gets caught in a web, the spider wraps it in silk. Then the spider pumps poison through the, the fangs to kill it. Next, it squirts stomach juice into the insect that turns it into a liquid slurp. The spider grabs the bus moth with its legs, but then it walks away. It does not want to eat the bus moth. The spider smelled us with its legs. I guess it doesn't like bus moths. Who can blame it? Take some scissors, class. Miss Frizzle hands out scissors. We get out of the bus and cut the bus out of the web. Be careful not to get stuck. Do not step where it's sticky. It's time to cut out, kids. When the bus is free, we climb back in. We fly out of the shed and back to the front of the spooky house. Our bus becomes a bus again. A lady is at the front door. Charlotte! Charlotte is a scientist. She studies spiders. Her spooky old house is really a spooky new spider museum. Miss Frizzle, welcome to my museum. Come in. We go inside. We see even more spiders. It's good to take a closer look at spiders. 
I think we got close enough. Time to head back to school. It says some spiders rebuild their webs oh, daily. Sorry, I couldn't read it. Spiders' egg cases can hold hundreds of eggs. And this down here says it's a Mexican rose tarantula. Grand opening of Charlotte's wonderful world of spiders. Back at school, we think about Charlotte. She loves teaching about spiders. Miss Frizzle loves teaching about everything. What will the Frizz teach us next? <coughs> Excuse me. It's a shark bite. Is a shark bite worse than a spider bite? I think we're going to find out. Trapdoor spider, Charlotte's Spider Museum. Look at all the spiders in that room. Not all spiders make webs to catch food. Some spiders move around and hunt for their food. These spiders include a wolf spider, tarantula, and a trapdoor spider. Daddy long legs are not spiders. They only have one body part and only two eyes. Spiders have two body parts, the head chest and the abdomen and eight eyes. Take a look at those spiders. All right. We will talk about this book on Wednesday um, and find out what kind of a book do you think this is? What classification is, is it? Um, and let's see what else we can talk about on Wednesday.